How to secure a container environment with Portainer. You will see that it's very easy. So there are two approaches with Portainer, an environment perspective and a user perspective. And you will see that here I have two environments, Docker Swarm and Kubernetes. Each orchestrator has its own security settings that you can enable and disable with Portainer very easily. Let's go into this Docker Swarm environment and see how can this be done. All I have to do is click on the environment, Swarm and Setup, and here I can enable or disable Docker security settings with a click of a button. That's how easy it is. And when it comes to Kubernetes, it's pretty much the same thing. You click on Kubernetes, go to Cluster Setup, and here you have all the settings that you can enable or disable for the security or management of your Kubernetes cluster within Portainer. For instance here, restrict access to the default namespace a good practice if you do want to avoid users deploying applications in the default namespace of your Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so let's look into the user access perspective. Portainer has a very, very powerful RBAC engine, role-based access control engine. Adding and removing or managing users and teams is extremely easy. There is no code involved in this process. So here, for instance, I have three users, I can add a user just by filling in the form and right away I can define if this user is going to be an administrator or not and I can even add them straight into a team if I want to if I already have a team defined that's it same thing with teams right I can add as many teams as I want and manage them with the Portainer UI and here we have the predefined roles that we have already in Portainer that you can use to define the user access the Portainer. For instance, if I go to this environment, let's say the Kubernetes uh, environment, I can enable access to Mary as a operator. And that's it. If I need to change her role, all I have to do is click on edit. And let's say now I want her to be the environment administrator. There you go. In a matter of seconds, I've added a user, I've defined the role of the user within an environment that this user is going to use with Portainer. Also with Portainer, when it comes to namespace definitions with, I mean, for instance, in a Kubernetes environment, managing access is as easy as we've already seen before. All I have to do is select a user and add access to this user to that given namespace. And within the namespace, I can also define a, a set of security features that will enable the proper access to this namespace within your Kubernetes cluster, like for instance, resource assignment, registries, quotas, and as you can see, it's extremely easy, all done by the graphical interface. Not one single line of YAML coding is required. Plus, an interesting thing is that you define your users once and you manage all these users within Portainer throughout any amount of environments or resources that you have here in Portainer. Well then, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Thank you very much.